The original little master is on a sticky wicket. Sunil Gavaskar has been caught plumb in the Kochi net. He is believed to be Kochi IPL team's friend, philosopher, guide right from the word go. He is alleged to be the one who helped them seal the IPL deal. The implicating part, he was hobnobbing with them even as a member of the IPL governing council. Simply put, it looks like a case of conflict of interest. Gavaskar may be known for his immaculate defence, but these volleys will be tough to negotiate. In his defence, Gavaskar says he was approached but is yet to say yes. The question is, why did he choose to stay mum till the muck hit the fan? Sunny Side Down is our top focus on centre stage tonight. You're watching Centre Stage with Rahul Kamal. A sunny shadow on the Kochi team has tongues wagging. People want to know why was the batting legend silent all this while. Legendary spinner Bishan Singh Bedi has torn into Gavaskar over his Kochi link. Bedi has gone ballistic, pulling no punches, saying if Tharoor was guilty, so is Sunil Gavaskar. Is Sunil Gavaskar more culpable than Shashi Tharoor? Bishan Singh Bedi certainly thinks so. He'll be joining us in just a short while from now. When the Kochi team won the IPL franchise, there were murmurs that a cricketing legend was backing the bid. Names were whispered in hush-hush tones, but there was no confirmation. But with just a day to go for their franchise's fate to be decided, the Kochi promoters have dropped a bombshell. They say that Sunil Gavaskar has been helping, helping them putting the franchise together, leading to very serious questions about whether the master blaster is guilty of conflict of interest. Embroiled in a battle of survival, Kochi IPL drops a bombshell. The guy quotes claim it was this man, Sunil Gavaskar, whose powers helped Rendezvous Sports successfully back the Kochi IPL bid. We have Gavaskar's support and full backing. It was under his guidance that we had decided to get into this. It's a name that could save the already tattering franchise. A name that has been revealed just hours before the IPL governing council is all set to decide the status of the Kochi franchise. I think uh, Sunil Gavaskar joining IPL Kochi team in an advisory capacity to govern and uh, monitor the cricketing aspect of, I think we will have one of the best cricketing teams, we'll have one of the best cricketing strategies with Sunil Gavaskar on our side. When contacted, this is what Sunil Gavaskar had to say. This is not the first time I've been approached by a potential franchise. In the past too, there have been approaches to help on the cricketing aspect, but nothing materialized. So till I get a formal offer in writing, it is just like all previous approaches made to me. But the pertinent question is, why did the Gaikwads break the code of silence now? It's a masterstroke from the Gaikwads. By revealing the name of Sunil Gavaskar, they want to rob the sting of the Mehul Shah faction, which has been pushing the Gaikwads to reduce free equity from 25 to 20%. Now the Gaikwads may well transfer 18% sweat equity to Sunil Gavaskar, thereby neutralizing the Mehul Shah faction's claims. The other question is, why was the man who stood for high moral values in cricket been silent thus long? Sunil Gavaskar was removed from the IPL governing council recently. Was that because the BCCI was aware of the conflict of interest? Remember, Gavaskar was a member of the IPL governing council when the Kochi consortium made a bid for a new IPL team. As member of the governing council, Gavaskar was in a position to influence the bidding process. So far, we are not aware of his links with uh, Kochi franchise. And uh, unless we speak to him, he can't say whether he has got any link with Kochi franchise or not. It may well be a master stroke by the Gaikwads, but even the legendary Gavaskar's name may not be enough to save them from the mess they are currently in. With Bureau Inputs, Sundarayar headlines today.